Hello there everybody, it is me Fizer Bunny, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today's build is called the Parisian Chateau. Um, this build is actually a townhouse that was designed to look like a classical French chateau. Um, this house has three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. Anyway, before anything else, um, I have a bunch of of stuff I want to talk about in this video. So let's get all of that over and done with before we talk about the build itself. Um, so as you guys might have already noticed, this build is very heavy on the CC. Usually I try to avoid using any CC in my builds, but once in a while I like to experiment with what I'm capable of doing with CC, so this build is an example of that. Anyway, um, majority of the CC I used, um, maybe 95% is from the amazing creator Felix Andre. Um, unfortunately, his CC is only accessible through Patreon, so you need to be a Patreon of his if you want to access his CC. But if you guys are interested, I highly recommend his CC because it is incredible quality. Like, honestly, as I was building this, I didn't even think I was playing The Sims 4 because the, the CC just makes the game look so different. It makes it look so realistic. Like, I was actually blown away by the quality of his CC. So if you're ever thinking of getting some CC on Patreon, I highly recommend Felix Andre. Um, also, I'm using CC from other creators. Um, there's a couple of items I'm using from the Gym 07 on Mother Sims. And then there's a kitchen set that I used from Sonoy Sims. Um, all of that will be linked down in the description below, of course. Um, all of the individual CC will be linked. There's really not that much, I think. Um, and yeah, I will also talk about the CC as we work with them on the video. Um, when it comes to CC made by Felix Andre, I can't link you to the individual sets. Uh, I will, however, put a link to his Patreon so you guys can check him out and see for yourself if you want to be a Patreon of his. Um, also, I'm pretty sure some people are interested to know, so I might as well talk about it in this video as well, but um, in my past video, I used a, a different kind of reshade preset for the house tour. So I'm using um, a different reshade from the same creator on this video. Um, I'm using actually two reshades in this build. Um, so. For the speed builds part, uh, I'm using the Light Brigade reshade by my good friend Hey Harry. And then for the house tour, I am using the Surya reshade by Intramoon on Tumblr. And then for those who are interested, um, I used another reshade preset by Intramoon. It's called um, Dharma in my previous video. Uh, so yeah, that was quite a mouthful. <laughs> Hopefully I got to talk about everything I wanted to. In case I missed something, it's most likely going to be in the description anyway, so please make sure to read the description before you guys ask me any questions. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it all I want to talk about as far as like the, you know, housekeeping stuff is involved. So let's talk about the actual build itself. So earlier I mentioned that this build was really inspired by classical architecture and as you guys can see there's quite a lot of that in the details like you can see that there's a lot of classical orders and classical details such as the um, moldings and the elaborate details and all of that stuff so in terms of time period historically speaking I would say that this house most likely would have been built sometime during the late 19th century, I would say, um, in the houseman style. Um, since 
this is a townhouse. I could I definitely consider this as a townhouse. Um, one of my friends a really really long time ago taught me that um, in Paris or in French townhouses are called hotel particulier. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, excuse me. But yeah, this is definitely a townhouse I would see in Paris. Um, it's definitely very very luxurious because there's so much space and just as you guys can see the materials on the interior are just like insanely luxurious like there's a lot of marble and expensive stuff inside of it so yeah this is a pretty um incredible house to live in i would say um so yeah i just wanted to clarify because some people might misunderstand that i'm building a chateau no i'm actually building a townhouse that was inspired by classical french chateau architecture hopefully i clarify that i'm pretty sure some people don't really care but some people do appreciate the times when i talk about technical stuff um because you guys know history is my passion and i'm so so excited every time i get a chance to share that with you guys as well um so yeah we have built quite a lot already um so i feel like i pretty much rambled all throughout the exterior but overall the exterior is pretty basic like as far as the shape is concerned like it's pretty symmetrical honestly this build i feel like the cc like did a lot of the heavy lifting because i feel like without the cc this build wouldn't look as good or as realistic as it does um so for the interior i went for something that was very chic so the color scheme i went for was black and white for most of the rooms um and also i used kind of like a mixture of classical meets contemporary so in all of the rooms there is a mixture of classical furniture and modern furniture as well uh so for the dining room we just furnished it um it's definitely one of the more formal rooms in the house um i think out of all of the rooms the dining room has the least modern furniture but it is there um but yeah i do see it as more of a formal room i did like this thing with a dining room table which i did in another build um, where I combined um, different tables from Jungle Adventure to make it look like one, you know, really awesome, like, super long cedar table. So, yeah, I really like doing that technique, um, and I really enjoyed it. I really, really love the way the dining room looked like. Right now, we're working on the kitchen, and I got quite indecisive on the kitchen, specifically on the countertops that I wanted. Um, in the end, I actually changed the countertops to have a granite countertop um, in black and white, of course, because I felt like it was more cohesive with the rest of the house because originally I went for like a wooden um, countertop and I felt like that felt way too country for this chic city townhouse. Uh, but yeah, the kitchen, we're not going to dwell on it too much because it's pretty basic. Um, the kitchen set, I did use an entire set from one creator, Sanoi Sims, on... I believe they're on Tumblr? I'm not sure. I will link them down in the description. The set is actually a conversion from a Sims 2 set. Uh, so yeah, right now we're working on the formal living area and this room actually has a bow I would say Hopefully that's the correct terminology for that But as you guys can see on the edge of the room, there's kind of like this little bay window right here I, I, I just thought it would be an interesting little detail to have that To you know, let more light in and also use these beautiful tropical Tropical Plants um, by Felix Andre. Um, I believe these are actually like supposed to be from Egypt. Oh my gosh, speaking of plants, of course, how can I not talk about these beautiful Art Deco plants from Felix Andre? Um, he has two stunning Art Deco flower arrangements, which I literally used all throughout this, but I feel like every single room 
has those Art Deco flowers and they're amazing. Also, this room uses those new artwork pieces um, from the recent patch and also I'm not sure if you guys caught it but I also did a custom gramophone little thing on one corner of the formal living room as well. Now this room that we're furnishing right now is actually a room that I really enjoyed. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite rooms in this entire house. Uh, this is the study slash office area room slash library i guess um but i don't know why but there's something about this room that makes me really like it probably because it's so different from the rest of the house as far as like the color scheme goes it has like this dark wood color scheme going through all of it um you know it has the very rich dark wood wood paneling on the walls and then a darker wood floor. All of those are from Felix Andre, by the way. Uh, but yeah, this room I would imagine would be where the owner of the house would like to, you know, spend their time lounging, reading a book, doing their office work. By the way, speaking of the owner of the house, um, I built this house with a person who would probably be in business like I don't know why but for some reason I thought of a wealthy successful obviously businesswoman running this house by the way I have to point out that rug that art deco rug once again by Felix Andre is absolutely stunning but anyway like I was saying um, I imagine this house would be for a very very successful businesswoman she is a boss lady and she's really glamorous I would say um, in my mind she's exactly like Miranda Priestly from The Devil Wars Prada you guys know I love that movie uh, so yeah um, this is her office and this is also kind of like a formal and a casual space all at the same time because as you guys can see this is where she would you know receive like her proposals or whatever do like business transactions or something um but also i put like um this little pet bed um because i did make this house for somebody with a dog preferably a large dog so i just threw in a nice little pet bed over there even though i don't think i ever got a pet to use those pet beds so i don't know if those are actually functional um i remember when cats and dogs first came out those pet beds were actually functional but in recent months <laughs> I never got them to work, so I don't know why. Um, anyway, we are working on this stunning staircase landing, by the way. Anyway, speaking of staircase, I'm pretty sure people will have questions on how I did the U-shaped staircase. Um, it's definitely a grand staircase moment. I really wanted that in this build. Um, but for those of you who are wanting to have a more in-depth tutorial on the staircase, I would highly recommend um, Kate Emerald's tutorial on um, split level staircases because she did a great job and I highly recommend that tutorial because she really talked in depth about it. Um, it's kind of hard to explain it in a comment because I get a lot of people asking me how I did the staircase so if you guys want a more in-depth explanation you guys can check out her video. I will also link it in the description below for your guys' benefit. Now we're working on the master bedroom. Um, so this bedroom is actually quite small when you think about the actual fact that this is the master bedroom, but it is composed of multiple smaller rooms. Like there's a really large dressing room, I would say. And there's also like a bathroom which is composed of two separate rooms and there's also a balcony as well. So the actual sleeping area itself, it's kind of like a little bit on the small side, but I really like it still. I kept in with the black and white color scheme and yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Once again, highlighting mostly Felix Andre content. Now this room that we're furnishing right now is kind of like the dressing room and the idea for this was kind of like gothic rococo uh so i'm using these beautiful rococo wall panelings but in black 
and I couldn't find uh, you know like a closet that I was happy with so I used these ones from vintage glamour stuff uh, and I just combined three different closets uh, you know to make it look like one uh, wardrobe um, and then I just threw in like some seating um, there's quite a lot of beautiful love seats that are from Felix Andre so I used one of them here I imagine this to be more of like a private boudoir I would say where you know our businesswoman owner she would hang out here maybe grab a glass of champagne and cuddle her dog or something like that that's what I had in my mind at least moving forward to the master bathroom the master bathroom actually opens out to this outdoor balcony area which I thought was a very interesting detail uh, but this bathroom is divided into two separate rooms. There is one room which is the actual bathing room and then there's the other room which is kind of like the toilet sink room whatever. Oh I discovered this technique where I did- by the way those floor tiles are not CC they are just a technique of um, placing certain floor tiles basically on a certain way um yeah whatever it's complicated to explain but you guys will figure it out uh just use the control f <laughs> to place the floor tiles the way i did anyway i use the same technique downstairs by the way uh i changed the floor tile on the lobby area into this because i felt like it just looked a little bit more interesting also you guys can see that there is a mix between modern and classic furniture here. Oh, also, how could we not talk about this stunning fresco wall from Felix Andre? It's gorgeous. Um, I knew that I wanted to use this wall, um, and I had a feeling that I was going to use it in this bathroom, so uh, yeah, uh, it's beautiful. Also, these tables are from the Art Deco set. They're actually really useful. I use these tables quite a lot actually in my build. Oh, you know what? Um, I can't believe I forgot to mention this, but um, for those of you guys who are interested in this style of build, I would highly suggest you check out my good friend, Hey Harry. She does a lot of builds like this, and you know, she does a lot of builds where she mixes like traditional classical items with modern items and it's so so beautiful i might have been inspired by some of her work um so if you guys actually want to see more of this kind of stuff um i would highly recommend you drop by her channel and let her know i sent you uh anyway um i feel like this probably isn't going to be my usual build because you know I like to keep my builds CC free as much as they can so once in a while I will definitely do CC builds but for the most part I will stick to my usual type of build which is CC free but let me know if you guys want to see more CC builds um just back then a while back you guys saw me uh, add in some extra detail on the staircase landing area. I felt like that particular wall was a little bit boring and flat so I put like some columns and an archway and a mirror just to make things look a little bit more interesting and also there is an ambulance passing by. Um, very inconvenient if I do say so myself. Uh, but you know what, whatever, it works. Hopefully you guys didn't hear that. I will try my best to edit all the background noise out. Um, anyway, I think one last thing that I want to talk about is actually my trip to Taiwan. Literally, I am leaving tomorrow night, so this video needs to get up before I leave. So, um, wish me luck if you guys- I don't know why you would wish me luck, whatever. Oh, by the way, the room that we're furnishing right now is the guest bedroom. Um, yeah, I won't show you the other bedroom because honestly, I am so pressed for time. I didn't bother recording me furnishing that because I want to keep this video within 30 minutes. 
Fingers crossed. Uh, but I really enjoyed furnishing this guest bedroom, by the way. And now, back to my point about my trip to Taiwan. For those of you who want to follow along on my trip, you can always follow me on my Instagram. I can't promise I will be around on either YouTube or on Twitter because usually when I travel, I prefer being on Instagram. So you guys definitely follow me on there if you want to follow along and stay updated on my little uh, four-day Taiwanese adventure. I'm really, really excited. I haven't been. Um, it's my first time. Also, it's my first time traveling abroad without my family. This time, I'm going with my college friends. So yeah, this is going to be pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, I will say I'm probably going to be sharing on my Instagram stories. So yeah, as I was building this house, by the way, I was also updating on my Instagram stories. So if you're not following me on my Instagram, you're missing out on a lot because I feel like as I was building this, I was posting all the time on my Instagram stories. Anyway, at this point, most of the interior is pretty much done. So we are um, furnishing the outdoor. You guys just saw me put in those panther statues, which I thought felt like super, super glamorous. Those are from the Gemo 7 on Mother Sims. And then some of the balustrades I'm using are also from the Gemo 7 as well on Mother Sims. And yeah, for the front, there's a very imposing wrought iron gate and some uh, hedges and all of that stuff. Um, you know, very French looking. For the back yard, it's actually divided into three different areas. So, um, in the backyard, there is a formal, um, formal garden, I would say, where the swimming pool is, which is the one that we're doing right now. This is what I would consider the formal garden. On one side, there is a little flower garden, which is more of like an informal garden, I would say, I guess. And then on the other side, there is a vegetable garden or a potager. <laughs> as the English French would say, <laughs> potager in French they would say, potager in English, I don't know, I'm my tongue is getting confused to be honest. Uh, but yeah, this is the formal garden, so I wanted to keep it very classical, so um, the pool has this very beautiful classical backdrop because I did not want it to be boring and basic. Uh, <laughs> I also wanted to incorporate this fountain from Romantic Garden, so I just had to chuck that in there. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with how this whole ensemble came together. Looks really classical, if I do say so myself. And also really symmetrical as well. Um, I don't know why, but there's something that I just love about these like really long avenues lined with cypress trees there's just something really glamorous about them um so yeah to subdivide the different areas of the garden i used some hedges and then i already did some terrain painting which i had to cut out because they didn't want the video to be like 40 minutes long but you guys can see a little bit of the landscaping here once again i had to cut out a lot of the landscaping unfortunately because it just took me way too much time but hopefully this will give you an idea of what the landscaping looks like uh, so yeah this is the flower garden i would say uh this is a place that would be perfect for like informal gatherings, maybe like afternoon tea, I would say. Um, literally, that's what I envisioned happening here. So I put like a little, you know, table where, you know, they can have like some tea or whatever. Anyway, here we have kind of like this outdoor lounge area. These items are all from Felix Andre. Those are beautiful, by the way. They're so stunning. And of course, I can't forget like a bar. I love using this bar. I don't know why. Uh, those bar stools are from Sonoy Sims. And this is more like outdoor seating and lounging areas, I guess, near the pool or by the pool side, I would say. And honestly, looking at this after I built it, it actually feels like a hotel. But I feel like that's fine because um, whoever lives here 
is probably really fond of throwing like social gatherings and all of that stuff. Also, by the way, they have a poodle. <laughs> I've already like made the sim for the house tour. So yeah, I also gave her like a little poodle. Uh, which I feel like is just so French, right? Uh, anyway, finally, the last part of this build is going to be furnishing this vegetable garden. So I'm using these crops from the gallery. I downloaded this off of the gallery, and these are all summer crops, by the way. Uh, so yeah, those are tomatoes and some herbs. I believe those are parsley and basil, but... I think that's actually going to be it for this build. I feel like I've said everything I wanted to say, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my commentary right here. Once again, if you guys want to support the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video because that really helps out a lot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.